is a square mile city. It may be tiny, but it has a lot to offer. There's hundreds of shops, bars, and restaurants. There's always people hustling and bustling. It's also one of the most popular residential areas in the country. That's probably because it's Manhattan's next door neighbor. Well, it's across the river. Hoboken embraces its history and plans for the future. I'm so excited to show you what Hoboken has to offer. This is the block that Frank Sinatra grew up on. Frank was born on December 12th, 1915, and he lived right here in Hoboken. His childhood home is no longer standing, but in memory of Frank, this bronze plaque was installed in 1996 to commemorate his birthplace. Frank Sinatra is Hoboken's most famous son. His Hoboken upbringing shaped his early career and imparted a cocky but relatable image, which helped make him an icon. Frank Sinatra was America's first teen heartthrob, earning another nickname, Swoonatra. All of the girls fainted at his concerts during the 1940s, and boys imitated his slick back hair and cocky demeanor. All across the country, and then finally the world, the sighing, swooing, and swaggering fans fell in love with his voice. Sinatra could be heard singing all over Hoboken, and this was one of his favorite spots. Located behind me, Tutty's Bar used to stand, and Frank could be found standing right here where I am, singing a cappella with his buddies. Thank you so much. Enjoy. <laughs> There's a reason that Leo's basically a shrine to old blue eyes, and that's because it's a memorial to Frank Sinatra from his great buddy Leo. And guess what? They're not only famous for Frank Sinatra, but their amazing home style Italian cooking. My first course at Leo's is their homemade caprese salad. Everything on my plate is local to Hoboken. The mozzarella, the tomatoes, the greens, they're all fresh. A crowd favorite is to pour their in-house balsamic right over the caprese for the best taste. Okay, it's time to dig in. Mm, this is the best caprese I've ever had. The balsamic is sweet, the tomatoes are flavorful. Mm. Okay, up next to my plate at Leo's is their penne alla vodka. This looks amazing, and I love Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna load some on. But everything at Leo's is fresh to Hoboken, which is fabulous because not many restaurants do that. Let's mix it up a little bit. I can't wait to try this sauce. Oh, that's still hot. It's fresh. They made it just for us. Mm. This is one of the best vodka sauces that I've ever had. You can tell that it's just made. It's fresh daily. It's not sitting in the refrigerator. This is homemade penne alla vodka. Okay, I'm really excited to try this next dish. It's the shrimp parmesan. What's so amazing is this is an original menu item. It's been on the menu since 1939. And I can see why it stayed on the menu. This shrimp parmesan is amazing. It's fresh, the shrimp is tasty. Mm. Okay, you can't leave Leo's without one of their famous cannolis. The cannoli shell is made in-house and the filling is freshly stuffed when you order. All right, no more delaying, I'm just gonna dig in. All right, well, I finished my lunch at Leo's. I hope you're able to make a stop here one day. I can see why this was one of Sinatra's favorite places. The food is amazing and the hospitality is unbeatable. The founder of the restaurant, Leo, and his wife, Tessie, created recipes for the restaurant. And they were basically taken from Tessie's recipe book. Some of them are still used today. Italian spots are a staple around Hoboken and New York City. 
and only the best and most authentic stay on the block. Leo's was founded in 1939 and is a third generation family owned restaurant. Leo's is known as one of the Square Mile's oldest restaurants and can be found at 200 Grand in Hoboken. Frank Sinatra Memorial Park has impressive views of the Manhattan skyline and it was dedicated on July 14, 1998 to Francis Albert Sinatra, Hoboken's gift to the world. Sinatra Park is shaped in a Roman amphitheater style with an area that faces the World Trade Center. There are regular events at the park as their Thursday concerts featuring a variety of New Jersey-based and regional musical acts and Shakespeare Mondays. There's also a cafe and a soccer field open to the public. Hoboken is home to many waterfront parks and some of those parks are named the best in the country. I can see why with this beautiful Manhattan skyline. And on this waterfront walkway on any given day, you can see hundreds of people passing by, either walking, running, walking their dog, or even rollerblading. Benny Tadino's is home of the largest slice, and Benny's is as Hoboken as Frank Sinatra. They often boast that they have the largest slices of pizza in all of New Jersey, and I don't doubt that. This pizza is larger than the menu. Benny's has been in business for over 50 years, and I can see why. I'm about to try this pizza. I don't know if I can handle it. It's on two freaking plates. Let's try it. Benny's is amazing. I can see why they've been in business since 1968. I think I'm gonna need help finishing this slice. Benny Tadinos has won many awards and it's frequently visited by many famous people, including Joe Biden, Scarlett Johansson, and Zendaya. Hoboken's main waiting room is a historic landmark and I can see why this concourse is beautiful but it's also the site of many firsts. Thomas Edison operated the first electric train out of this station, and it was the first public space in the country to have air conditioning. The large main waiting room has floral and Greek revival motifs, and its tiled stained glass by Lewis Comfort Tiffany is set atop bands of pale cement. It's considered one of the finest in the United States. A grand double staircase with decorative cast iron railings is in the main waiting room and it provides an entrance to the upper level ferry concourse. A 225 foot clock tower was originally built with a terminal over a century ago, but was dismantled in the early 1950s. A new clock tower replicating the original was constructed during the terminal centennial year of 2007. The replica tower has four foot high copper letters spelling out Lackawanna, which are lit up and beautiful at night. Hoboken's own Washington Street has been named one of the great streets in all of America. These 15 blocks are covered with hundreds of shops and restaurants, and these streets are always busy and bustling with people. Hoboken's Washington Street really embraces its history and the future. Washington Street has been Hoboken's main drag since the 1980s when the city began going residential with the arrival of young urban professionals. They settled into the historic apartments with an easy commute to Manhattan. Today, the 15 block street is home to numerous annual festivals and a wide range of shops and several well-known bars and restaurants, including La Isla and the Taco Truck. Both have been featured on the Food Network. And since April of 2009, the street has seen swarms of tourists who line up and down the block just to get a glimpse of Carlos Bakery, home of TLC's reality series Cake Boss. Although Hoboken has transitioned over the centuries from an industrial region into a bustling residential community, Washington Street has thrived by adapting to the community's evolving needs while preserving its historic character.